One of the best upgrades you can make to your road bike for performance and looks, it has to be said, it's a nice set of carbon fiber wheels like these. But in the olden days, the prices were really high and basically you need a pro contract to get some carbon fiber wheels on your bike. But thankfully, in the last five or 10 years, the prices have really tumbled, making them much more affordable and accessible for more people. These are a brand new set of wheels from Vail, a UK based company, just launched some wheels and these cost £699. So they look good, good price. Let's dive into a tech and performance on these brand new wheels. These are the Vail RL3850 wheels with a mixed rim depth, 38 up front and 50 out back. The high modulus carbon rim is 20 millimeters wide internally and tube is ready using a hooked V design. The rims are hand built via pillar wing spokes onto CNC machined rapid engagement hubs and compatible with Shimano 11 speed, micro spline 12 speed and SRAM. And then there's a way the wheel sound which may be a deciding factor for you. If you like a loud free hub, well wrap your ears around this. That is a high pitch buzz. Weight is acclaimed 1,590 grams, but actually 1,616 grams on my scales. 718 in front and 898 rear. The new Vail wheel range offers lots of options to suit your requirements. There's rim depths from 30 up to 85 and 700C and 650B wheel sizes for gravel bikes. The lineup is spearheaded by the premium RSL wheels, which use the same carbon rims as the wheels I'm testing, but spin on high end, high quality DT Swiss 240S hubs with Sapin CX Ray spokes. They cost £999. All wheels are covered by a three year warranty and a crash replacement policy. Before I talk about the performance of the wheels, let me share my setup with you. So I'm using, as you can see, the BMC T Machine SLR. There will be a review on this bike very soon. And I switched from the DT Swiss alloy wheels it came with to these Vail carbon fiber wheels. And I think it's fair to say it looks much better with these deep section wheels. No loud logos, very discreet. So a good looking set of wheels that go well on any bike like this BMC. For tires, I've mainly been using the Pirelli P0 Road 28mm wide clincher tires with inner tubes. They are tubeless ready and I tried some tuber tires and they went up fine using a track pump to no issues there. And let's talk about performance then. And there's no denying that going from a shallow alloy wheel set to a deeper section carbon fiber wheel set makes a noticeable difference. It's really noticeable at higher speeds. So higher average cruising speeds above 30 kilometers per hour is where these wheels really shine. Using a power meter on the bike, you really notice a reduction in power needed to maintain those higher speeds. So you're saving effort at those higher speeds. So it's riding on your own or in a group, that makes a big difference, you know? It makes a difference to how fast you can go and how long you can ride at those high speeds before fatigue kicks in. As you might be able to tell behind the bike, it's quite windy here today. And it's usually quite windy here in the Cotswolds, quite gusty with low hedgerows. These wheels seem to handle the crosswinds and sudden gusts of winds really well, actually. I've been really impressed with how calm they are in quite windy conditions. Had no erratic sudden movement, haven't been caught by the wind, not had any issues with handling. The company does not offer any aero testing data with these wheels, but it's clear they feel fast in my hands and on my local roads. It is tricky, I'll admit, testing aerodynamic components out here in the real world, away from a wind tunnel or a lab. There's so many variables. I have been using a power meter to try and test the wheels on segments I know really well. And in a few places I can see a noticeable difference in the power demand required on certain road sections. But it's difficult to get any real meaningful data that I can share with you to prove that these are more aero than the wheels they replace or how they compare to other carbon wheels in this market. They're not as light as more expensive carbon wheels, but they do perform really well on the climbs. And there's no discernible flex when heaving hard on the handlebars. The 27.5 mm external width isn't the widest, but it still works nicely with these 28 mm wide tires, 
offering a solid feel in the high speed corners. All things considered, these wheels are easy to set up and easy to live with, giving you a real noticeable boost in performance and looks for a price that's a lot lower than many carbon wheels with no obvious shortcomings. So I've been really impressed with the performance of these wheels, the way they look, the way they ride, and the after sale service, that crash replacement policy, and also the very low price compared to many other carbon wheels in the market. Upgrading your wheels to a carbon fiber wheel set like this is one of the easiest ways to transform the ride and performance of your bike short of buying a new road bike. And it really is the best place to spend your money. Better than a crankset upgrade or a new handlebar or saddle, the wheels really transform the way the bike rides and also how it looks as well, which of course is really important for us roadies. So they might not have the kudos of a higher profile brand, but they look good. They're well priced. They come from a retailer, Sigma Sports, with a good reputation. So lots of things to like. Anyway, that's my review. I'm really impressed with them. So I wouldn't hesitate to go out and buy them if I was in the market for some carbon fiber wheels. This is not a long-term review. I've only had them for a few weeks, but first impression do count for quite a bit here. But if you do buy wheels, let me know what you think of them down below. And if you want to check these wheels out, I'll put a link to their website in the description down below. So you go and take a closer look if you want at these and other wheel sets in their range. Anyway, that is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter for behind the scenes of all the latest bikes I'm testing at the moment. And I will see you all again next time. Thank you so much for watching.